Hello and welcome to a new episode of Bahraini Dishes Cooking Show. My name is Chef Ali Youssef and I'm going to take you to a delicious journey where you're going to explore and cook too many traditional dishes. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to cook Tharid. Tharid is an amazing dish. We serve it during Ramadan breakfast. It has to be in every house for breakfast. And to cook that one, let me tell you what we need here. The ingredients are, we have mutton, we have vegetables, um, potatoes, zucchini, eggplant, carrots, and it could be added more uh, vegetables if you need such um, sweet potatoes, pumpkin, okra, and others more. And also we have, of course, we have red onions, we've got garlic, we've got tomato paste, salt, and uh, right, uh, they call them the, the right or the whole spices right here, Bahraini. And of course we have like some um, spices there, we mention them as we go. Right, start with, uh, let's first put the stove on. Going to add oil. While we're getting the uh, oil hot, I have boiled the water here. I want to put it, uh, I want to put the meat there to get out the, the, the smell and the uh, fats. Take them out. Here is mutton. I'm going to place it in a boiling water. And just cover it, leave it till it boils. Then we'll get back to it again. Now, first of all, now the oil is hot. We're going to put the onions. Kind of roast it a little bit. There it. Let me tell you what, we, we've got a lot of different, different recipes. Uh, because, you know, different families, different recipes. But the taste is one. It's just the way how it's been cooked. I'm going to add the garlic as well on the, uh, on the onion. Keep stirring it. And then now we check on the meat here. As you see, the foam on top, you need to take it out. The more foam comes out, the more we take it out to keep it clean. Right, leave it for another sometimes, then we'll get back to it. Now, I'm going to add also the, um, the uh, spices here. Got cinnamon, bay leaves, um, cloves, and uh, black lemon, dried, and cardamom, and um, black pepper. Mix them all together. I'm going to add meat there a little bit later. Um, get roast and get back shortly. Almost done here. Don't want to burn it, like really burn. Now I'm going to add some vegetables in there with that. I'm going to add potatoes. It's a little bit hard to cook. We cut we cut the big chunks, not small, because we put it for long cooking. 
so it might melt. Simply going to throw in there, along with carrots. Also, the carrots get a bit long time to, to cook. A little bit seasoned and then sizzle and then get back to it shortly. As we see, uh, our vegetables are roasted here and sizzled really well. Now I'm going to add meat in there. Without the water. And do not throw the water yet because you need bit of flavor later in a bit when we need it. Gonna stir it a little bit here. So to get it more tender, I'll leave it for at least 15 minutes and then we'll get back to you. So is the zucchini you need to Cut it big, big rounds because it will get melted. It's nice to have some veggies. Good job. This is you cut them half moon, the eggplant. Then soon to add the Stir it again. Now I'm going to add four cups of water. Now of course, you've got a little bit chance, so we can put here also broth from the meat that you have did earlier. Need flavor. Need bit fats. That should be enough. Gently stir it. And then here I'm going to add the salt, three to four tablespoons. And you can add more and you can add less. It all depends on who's eating that. And also, if you want to make the same terry dish for vegetarians, you can do the same recipe just without the meat. Or maybe you want chicken or shrimps. You can do the same recipe, exactly. But we prefer, traditionally, we do it with mutton or lamb. Going to add the a tomato paste, it's about also a three to four tablespoons. Stir it. We're going to add the spices in a bit once it gets uh, boiled here. Now it's a bit, bit boiling. Then we're going to add the spices. We've got coriander powder. You need one tablespoon of coriander powder. And then we've got turmeric, also around just one tablespoon. And then this is cumin powder. It's been nice to put that one. And the most important is the Bahraini spices, which is very nice. It gives you beautiful flavor. This I'm going to add two tablespoons, actually. 
gives you better flavor. And optional, uh, we will add also just a little bit of uh, crushed paper, change the taste. Now we stir it. As I said, there's so many different uh, recipes of doing this. And then now I'm going to add the other vegetables. Uh, zucchini and eggplants and also it's an optional if you want to make it spicy you just add chili powder or fresh chilies or jalapenos makes it better <laughs> right I'm gonna keep this for next another 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll get back to you shortly and we are back after almost 30 minutes of the, the longest you put, the more tender you get. Now I'm going to add um, some herbs in there to give you the aroma of Bahraini flavor. Uh, this we call it dill. People call it spent. And don't exaggerate your ingredients. You might have funny taste. So I'm not suggesting that. Just follow the proper recipe. You might add or minus a little bit, not too much because you're gonna miss the um, the flavor. You're not gonna get the right flavor of it. Then no use. And that's uh, coriander, now plain parsley. here for, for a bit time, five to ten minutes, while we're getting the bread done. There is a way of putting the bread by there, let me tell you, because we need to cut it into small pieces. Um, some people, they just put the whole thing like that and chop like uh, the other bread on top of it. But on my recipe, I'm doing it this way, make life easier. This, 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 this uh, cutting the bread was my favorite part in Ramadan, because I used to sneak some pieces in my mouth a long time ago. <laughs> I don't use the fast that time. <laughs> Usually it takes uh, three to four hours uh, going through this process. The reason is to get stronger flavor and also the meat will get more tender so it won't be too chewy. To here our bread is ready. Now we'll give it another 10 minutes. We're preparing for the final dish. And now we are back after almost 40 minutes. And as I said earlier, the more you leave it on slow cook, the more tender you can get the meat. Now, I'm going to show you the trick how to put it on a serving plate. First of all, you're going to put the gravy first on the bread. Let it soak on it. Grab 
gravy in it. Now, going to mix it gently, slowly. Don't make a mess in the kitchen. A lot of people, they prefer to squeeze lemon in it. You mix it really well. Now, we're going to make space for the meat and, and the vegetables. Right. Also, we can add more uh, bread if you want to. Up to here, this is your final dish. Uh, this is, we call it, Tharit. We are done with the main dish and now we're doing side dish and it's very tasty and nice. Served with uh, date honey. We call it uh, le uh, people call it gemat. Very simple recipes, water, um, flour and dry yeast. I'm using all purposes um, flour. Oh, we're gonna mix it. And when, you, when your dough is ready, you have to proof it for at least minimum of two hours. And the more you proof it, the more it gives you better performance when you come to frying it. And the dough, it has to be different texture than the other doughs, not like uh, pizza or bread or, has to be very watery. Then when you, when it's proof, then it will be like kind of sticky. You have to be careful when you put uh, the, the amount of water and you might run out of flour, so don't put too much water. And you keep adding water as you go. And some people, they like to add flavor to it, like some people like uh, saffron, which is the best flavor to, to add on. And of course, you can add also vanilla flavor if you wish. I don't recommend that but usually it's plain flavor or saffron. And if you have mixer at home, that dough mixer makes life easier to you, that would be great. And personally, I don't want to use the machine or mixer. This dish, uh, consider as sweet. You can either have it before or after your main dish. Um, it's very light, not that heavy, not too sweet, nice crunchy, like snacks. Now we're going to put it for proofing. Now I think we are done with the dough. I'm just going to transfer it to a nice small bowl so we can proof it. Uh, you can probably just normal uh, temperature in the fridge, uh, three to five. Don't have to have to be uh, outside now. That's how the dough looks like. Right, we're going to proof it for at least two hours, three hours, and then we'll get back to you shortly. And we are back after five hours, actually. It's been proof really nicely, as you see it. It's really nice. And now we're going to put it in oil 
deep fry it. That's the best part of it. You can use any measurement uh, spoon. But back in the days, they used their hands actually to do this. And you have to uh, turn it over so it won't get over fried, it won't burn it. And now we're almost done. Get okay, a plate is. Should be in a harem way. That we have reached in the end of today's episode. Uh, that was it for today, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.